One great aspect of Squash and Stretch is that the animations it creates are easy to modify. Let's select the Jump behavior and apply it to this icon. If you want to make it jump higher, one possibility is to give it some more oomph and simply apply the behavior again. Alternatively, you can modify the keyframes directly in the timeline. These three keyframes are the ones at the top of the jump, so let's just select them all, make sure the current time indicator is placed exactly on one of them, and move them up. Now we select these keyframes here and move them up too. The deformation of Squash and Stretch is created with this Bezier Warp effect. As you can see, it also consists of keyframes, so you can fine-tune those too, if you want. Personalizing animations could not be more simple.